Okay, hello and welcome everybody. Chania is here and I have got a video from Black Ops on Cracked and I still haven't gone down to Call of Duty to get any new footage, which is a bit of a shame. Now, I've chosen this game for reasons that I don't understand. Um, and if you're wondering what that means, it means that I don't remember this game at all. Oh, that was actually, that's quite nice. I like that, you know, the whole... I've placed the mine down, he sets the mine off, nice early warning system. I think there might be a little moment in this game actually where something really interesting happens, but I can't remember. I don't know, it, we'll see if it comes up, I'll know it if it does. Because um, I think I used it in a chantage. I called, uh, yeah, that's what I call my mont mon montages, they're called chantages, and uh, it's going to be awesome. And as you can probably hear today, I'm actually going to be talking about the game. I know, a Call of Duty commentator talking about Call of Duty! It just does not happen enough anymore. Everybody talks about billionaire challenges, paintball challenges, anything else other than Call of Duty. I'm going to talk about Call of Duty. I'm going to take Call of Duty commentary back to its roots. We're talking about the game and hopefully I can give you a few little tips, maybe, uh, as to how this game worked out the way it did. Now I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to have to level with you right from the off. This is not, um, oh my god, huge score, how to talk. That's not what this is. This is just a standard, I think, 6 or something KD, which, I mean, if you're going to turn around and say a 6 KD is shite, then you need to reevaluate your sort of priorities. I mean, if you're aiming ridiculous KD every game, you're gonna end up getting frustrated on this game, and that's a tip I want to give to you right now. This game is a 6 KD, which, and the way I achieve that in this game is very doable, even by, you know, the the way, if you're even a shit player, let me say it that way, if you're a bad player on Call of Duty, even you could pick up the 6 KD the way I do it here. Um, that's basically it. See now, this is a very good spot on cracked. I know this is black ops, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. The the theory that I'm applying in this game, in this particular match on this map, it applies to every Call of Duty. You want to find yourself a good position of advantage, like this one. Okay, I I cocked that up. I'm I'm going to use a racing driver excuse and blame my teammate on that one, but um, but yeah. You want to find yourself a position of advantage, that's very important. And what constitutes a position of advantage in my mind? Well, high ground is always good, um, normally. Uh, or ducking behind a hill, always a good idea. Oh yeah, this is the moment. It is! Yeah, look, oh my god, how lucky do I get? Look at this! Oh, oh my god, I got away with it. Oh, but wait, I'm not finished yet. <laughs> Take some of that. Um, yep, yeah, so you want the high ground, you want cover, that's another posi position of advantage. And cars are brilliant for that. If you can find yourself like, like a car, a jeep, or a Humvee to like shoot through the window, you've got cover, they haven't. Position of advantage. Windows, good for positions of advantage. Essentially, any, any way that the gunfight is tipped in your favour is a position of advantage and there is another point to this actually which is very important just being in one certain position of the map does not constitute position of advantage see if I was in that window that I was in a few moments ago shooting down at those people where I where I let myself get killed and uh, I'm gonna apologize here when I'm doing this commentary the video I'm watching is skipping I'm not sure if there's a problem with the frame rate um, it's not looking good uh, from this rate I hope I've sorted it out because what I've gone and done is I've made a few changes to the aspect ratio which I think will sort out the uh, YouTube not full screen issue I think I've sorted it but the problem is I might have created a new problem with this aspect ratio thing with, with not aspect ratio with frame rate which is starting to concern me so if I have done that I do apologize I I don't know the finished product yet on YouTube of my changes I haven't done sort of like a um, 
a test run. This is sort of my opening test run, but but yeah, I was, I was talking about the position of advantage, and it, you know, if I was in that window, I'm um, hold on, I'm going back to it now. You see, if I was here, right now. With this gun, with the FAMAS, I am in a position of advantage because I've got a range advantage with my gun and I'm keeping myself covered, I'm keeping myself at a certain range, you know, an appreciable distance from the enemy. Now, if I was to say, go there with a SPAS-12, that wouldn't be in a position of advantage. That would just be dumb. It'd be stupid because my weapon does not suit that type of engagement. So just having a certain position alone is not enough to constitute position of advantage is what I'm trying to say you have to match your environment to your gun to have the position of advantage like I am doing that brilliantly with this for mass which is why assault rifles are so easy to use because they are um, they're easy to get the right positions same with LMGs if you can bear with the slower movement across the map they are also brilliant for getting long range easy positions of advantage which is why shotguns aren't, in my mind, as popular as they once were. However, I would say, with Modern Warfare 3, um, we will talk Modern Warfare 3, because I'm obviously this is really old gameplay, but uh, with Modern Warfare 3, I have found shotguns tend to work a bit better because it's easier to get a close-range encounter. Now, if you can get a close-range encounter with a shotgun, you are in the position of advantage because your gun is much better suited to that occasion. Um, and if you can also utilize the scenery, maybe sneak up around people and, you know, try and break up your outline, ultimate positional and situational awareness. That's how you create positions of advantage, is through situational awareness, making sure that your, you know, your enemy aren't going to basically come at you from ridiculous angles and take you out, that there aren't many blaring weaknesses. It's hard with Modern Warfare 3 to do that because of just the bad map design, I know, but sometimes you can't do it all perfectly. I mean, nobody's perfect. Um, I think Woody did a similar video actually a while ago. See, look, nobody's perfect. I mean, I was actually in a good position there, actually, to be fair, for that engagement, but it just so happened I got outnumbered. And you've also got to be wary of that. If you do get outnumbered, don't worry about it. You go outnumbered. Hey, one was in front of you, one was behind you. What are you going to do about that? There's, you can't avoid situations like that all the time. You can hope that the people who are doing it to you are dumbasses and fuck it up. But that's pretty much it. Sometimes you just can't do anything about it. Now, I can see the game's wrapping up here. So, uh, I, hope this has, I hope this has helped. You know, just, just be smart. And get the good position for, you know, your particular weapon. And, oh yeah, I forgot to do it. Kojals just got me the game-winning kill cam. Unfortunately, it's theatre mode, so you can't see it. But yeah, the Kojals got the win. And that was me. That was Chania. Goodbye for now.